A famous cartoonist once said that one of the best ways to quickly improve your drawing skills is to copy or imitate some beautiful works. So, this time I have chosen a comic book that I really like, and I have selected a particular panel from it, by copying it, I hope to learn the artist's drawing style and lines. I didn't use any special brushes, just the ones that are built into Procreate. Generally, I prefer to start my drawings with the eyes. At first, I needed to experiment with different line thicknesses to achieve the ideal effect I wanted. Once you find the right line thickness, you can continue using it to draw with confidence. For the iris, you don't need to fill it completely with black. Leave a small area of white to create a reflective effect and bring the eyes to life. When drawing hair, try to keep your wrist movements fluid. Zoom in to an appropriate size and use your wrist to create the entire line and texture of the hair. When you need to emphasize a certain area, try drawing it repeatedly and thickening the lines to make it stand out. Pay close attention to the composition and have confidence in your skills, especially when drawing lines. Try to draw them in one go to achieve a fluid and natural look. I hope we can draw together, relax, adjust our breathing, and quietly enjoy the process of drawing. This is the other eye. Similarly, don't fill the iris completely with black. Leave a small area of white to make the eyes look more transparent. I made a mistake here by drawing too many lines. When the screen is zoomed out, it looks too abrupt. Therefore, while drawing, it's important to constantly observe the entire composition to ensure that the final effect is harmonious and balanced. After reducing the number of lines, the muscles under the eyes look more natural. When I first started learning to draw, I often overlooked this area. When drawing hairlines, it's important to keep your wrist flexible to convey a sense of flowing movement. Your wrist should not be too stiff. Now I'm starting to draw the eyebrows, but after observing for a while, I'm not very confident in my strokes. So. I created a new layer to make it easy to make changes at any time without affecting the parts that are already well drawn. I really like this feature. You can fill colors quickly just by putting them in directly, which saves a lot of time. I'm a bit worried that the eyebrows look too static when they're completely black, so I tried to redraw them, but in the end, I gave up.
I'm planning to use another eyebrow as a test, and instead of using the fill tool, I'll draw the eyebrow gradually with the brush to preserve some of the layering and depth. I made another mistake because the eyebrows were drawn on a separate layer. It looked like the outline of the eyebrows was already drawn, but it wasn't actually complete because the lines were spread across different layers. That's why the fill tool didn't work as expected. As I mentioned before, in order to preserve the layering and depth of the eyebrows, I decided not to use the fill tool and instead use the brush to gradually complete the eyebrows in the direction of the hair growth. Now the two eyebrows look a bit different in style, so I created a new layer and used white paint to add back the highlights and layers to the eyebrows. I carefully observed the two eyebrows again and realized that the effect is not quite ideal yet. However, I plan to work on it slowly in the future. I started drawing the teeth, but I found that the brush was too small, so I made some adjustments. You can download this image using the link in the video description. I hope everyone can approach drawing with a relaxed mindset and enjoy the process. My neighbor has two small dogs, who often keep me company while I draw. When drawing teeth, I aim to create a sense of depth, so I thicken one side of the lines. This tooth is drawn too thickly, it needs to be redrawn. To create a sense of depth for the nose, I used lines in different directions when shading it.
I also left a small area unshaded to create a highlight, which gives the nose a more three-dimensional appearance. If you still feel that the shading is not enough, you can always use a white pencil to add highlights later on. Turn off the reference layer below and carefully observe the entire composition. I hate it when this camera captures my hair, but I haven't found a solution yet. That's right, through practice, you can develop a sense of how to draw clean and crisp lines. Alright, I'll stop talking now so that everyone can focus.
After completing the initial draft, the lines may still appear thin and lack impact. However, since you are only observing the reference layer, it may be difficult to clearly see which parts of the drawing need to have more emphasis on the lines. In that case, you can use a reference image placed next to your drawing to help identify which areas need more emphasis on the lines. But for some reason, the image appears distorted. Since I'm only adding more ink to the areas that need it right now, I can completely turn off the layer below to make the image clearer. Now I'm going to focus on drawing, and I invite everyone to join me in practicing. 